want to thank you for letting me speak with you about an issue that is central to our children's future and critical in our fight to restore this nation's economy, solving our nation's health care crisis. The message is simple. It's time to bring about fundamental change, control our nation's soaring health care costs, and provide security for American families again. Since we first came to Washington, I've been chairing the President's Task Force on Health Care, and every day I have been lucky to hear from people all over the country. But I think the person who best summed up the situation we face was a doctor I met recently at St. Agnes Hospital in Philadelphia. He said to me, you know the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Well, Mrs. Clinton, the system's broke and it's time to fix it. Since January, people from all over the government and experts from around the country have been working round the clock to come up with a comprehensive health care reform package. We've met with groups from all over the country representing different perspectives on health care, from nurses to hospital administrators, from doctors to business people. We have reached out in an effort to get the best advice we can. The President also asked people to write and tell us their concerns and opinions about health care. And the response has just been incredible. Let me read you part of a letter from a woman in Warren, Michigan. Dear Mrs. Clinton, I am a middle class American with a husband and three children. My family ran upon rough times two years ago when my husband lost his job after seven years with the same company. We aren't eligible for state-funded programs and can't afford the price of the insurance premiums, so as a result, we do without. I hope and pray that a solution to this problem will come about soon. As we develop our plan, we're thinking about that woman from Michigan and the points of view of every American and every group involved in making health care reform work. The small business person who wants to cover his employees but struggles with premiums that rise at 30 percent each year. The older American caught between a fixed income and prescription drug prices that are out of reach. And the parents of four children who can't switch jobs because they're afraid of losing coverage. For those people and the groups who have been fighting for health care reform for years, this is not the time for yet another study or report. As the President said in his February address to the Joint Session of Congress, it is time for action. But let me say up front, we are going to preserve American medical care at its best the superior technology our doctors need, and the flexibility that our people demand. We will maintain the highest quality medical care in the world and the individual's right to choose a doctor. But there's also a lot you won't see in a new system. You won't see the patchwork of forms that frustrate patients and make doctors spend more time with paper than with people. You won't see prescription drugs that cost three times more than they cost in other countries. You won't see the phrase, quote, pre-existing condition, unquote, on any insurance form again. And you won't hear of people who lose their jobs and can't find coverage for themselves and their children. These kinds of fundamental changes won't be easy. Believe me, I've learned since I started working on this issue there are powerful special interests who profit from the status quo and high-priced lobbyists who get paid to keep everything the same. They're already lining up to block the change the president will propose. But with your help, we can break the gridlock. People need a health care system that controls costs and provides security to families. And I know the American people share the urgency that I feel, the sense that we must act now. We face a historic opportunity, and we must seize the moment. I ask you to join me and the President in working for fundamental change in America's health care system, 
to lead this nation toward quality, affordable health care for all Americans. Thank you so very much.